That's the sound of a rabid fox being captured by animal control after encountering two dogs in Raleigh. This ring doorbell camera captured the whole thing. It happened on Florida court in North Raleigh. WRO's Carly Haynes spent the day there. She's live outside the Wake County Animal Center. And Carly, this isn't the first time this has happened in Raleigh, that being with a rabid fox. Animal control officers have captured several rabid animals since January of this year. And this dog owner says she's lucky it wasn't worse after hearing what could have happened. The cries of a fox as it's carried away from a Raleigh neighborhood. Moments before, it faced off with family pets. It was a very stressful and high tense situation. Megan Griffin's two dogs, a golden retriever and a mixed breed, are okay after approaching the fox in the backyard. They kind of immediately went after it, got a hold of it. Griffin quickly got the dogs inside and called animal control, then learned later the fox had rabies. You always think about how much worse it could have been um, if they were actually bitten or we were bitten or anything like that. The dogs had their shots, but the neighborhood is home to pets and young kids. Cameras caught a fox in the area just days earlier. I didn't really think anything of it, but then after hearing this, I'm like, oh my God, I wonder if it was the same one. Raleigh police say this is the fifth rabid animal case just this year. More specifically, the third rabid fox. This one is gone now, but the encounter stays on Griffin's mind. I never really even considered it until it's happened, and now it's something that I feel like I'm always going to be kind of looking out for. Anyway, hey, County officials do have some tips to reduce rabies risk when get your pets their rabies shots or get boosters if they already have those vaccinations. Two, don't leave food out, whether it's dog food, cat food, or even just exposed trash. And three, don't approach animals that you don't know. Carly Haynes, WRL News, live in Raleigh.